What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome, your faces back to some more FIFA 17 career mode. Zero to hero. And we are, obviously, the one and only Groomsby Town playing against Mansfield. Now, finally, a home match. It feels like forever since we've been back at home. It's just every match has been away constantly. It's been a very, very weird couple of episodes. But it got even weirder in the last episode. So if you guys haven't seen that episode, be sure to go and check that out absolute insanity absolute insanity but we are playing mansfield now very intrigued to see how this is going to pan out where they actually stand currently in the league i don't know uh, let's have a look at the league table quickly uh they're currently seventh at the moment they're actually performing pretty well their goal difference is zero as it currently stands they've lost three matches we are yet to be beaten in league two our goal difference is so high right now that nobody's even close. Nobody's in a plus 10. Like we're 10 above everybody, including Doncaster. Uh, we do need to play... I think we still need to play Doncaster. It'll be interesting when we play that match, and Portsmouth as well. Like Those those two teams in particular are going to be very, very interesting to see how that's going to pan out. But let's just say Exeter got battered. <laughs> and uh, in the last episode, they got battered. Let's put, that's, that was put lightly. Let's put politely more than anything else but they got absolutely battered which is pretty good but before we do jump into today's game i do wish to do a squad report for you guys because i know there's a lot of people who will probably be interested to see how players are developing now it's a bit early in the season a bit early in the campaign but players have been making improvements and how well they are increasing in their overall which is pretty intriguing now obviously ben davies he's a great player he is a great great player 35 years of age though so he is retiring at the end of the season so we are going to need to look for a new right back and uh, we are obviously going to need to try and replace him with somebody of ample quality next up is Andrew Boyce again nothing on there Casper Larson again we have only loaned this guy for the season he is increasing already his overall is 68 which is not bad overall. He's 23 years of age. I, this is the one thing that I am slightly worried about, is bringing these players in on loan, trying to find players in League 1 that are of a similar calibre are going to be really, really difficult. Whether or not we'll get an increased budget for the next season, I don't know. That remains to be seen. But I genuinely do hope we get some form of prize money when it gets into the later stages of the Cup uh, tournaments. So again, he's got an improvement as well. Boya Herrera, nothing on him just yet. He is looking very promising though. Brandon Comley. Up to 62 overall now. Worth a little bit more money. Form, excellent. Morale, he's a bit he's content. He's not too bad, but he's been playing very, very well. Uh, Dominic Vos has been playing very, very well recently. Jose Artiles, he's gone up as well. He was only worth like 300k. Now he's worth 525,000. Unbelievable player. 100, actually, he arrived at 190,000. Oh, wow. Well, we definitely struck a bargain there. He's worth 525 now. Half a million pounds. Well can't say much else this guy though is one that we want to buy 110 percent. if we can purchase him in the transfer window during january i will consider that good business 100 percent good business if we can buy this guy i'll be so so happy and get him on a permanent deal he is incredible 23 years of age so much room for improvement as well his form has been good he's content because obviously he's been injured so it is nice to get him back but he has been playing unbelievably well at the moment omar bogle has finally increased as well he's very very good uh he's just been unbelievable for us let's be perfectly honest he scored in total 12 goals in 16 appearances unbelievable performance from him christopher malonga again he is actually finally scoring goals now which is really good craig disley he's actually gone down one he is 35 years old though so again he'll probably be uh looking to leave at the end of the season he is uh, expiring in terms of his contract in nine months it's probably not worth um getting an extension with him because we do have plenty of center midfielders uh chambers again summerfield i wasn't actually expecting him to have gone up slightly but i guess not Vernon, again, he's not happy, but screw Vernon. He scored a couple of goals, but still not particularly fond of him. Uh, Bola Rimwell, he's gone up one as well. Again, good work ethic. Dean Henderson, not even used him. He's gone up one as well. Uh, Danny Collins, again, he's retiring. He's contemplating it. He is 36 years of age, so again, might be worth looking at getting two centre-backs in as well. We do need a lot more money. To, to well we just need more money in general so this guy at the mo moment is currently injured unfortunately we did bring him in for three hundred and thirty thousand pound unfortunately he is 
playing rather poorly at the moment and his value isn't reflecting how much we paid for him unfortunately uh the rest of the players sean pearson he's gone up one uh, i don't see anybody else oh reese brown he's gone up one haven't even used him uh sean McAllister, nobody else has gone up one at all i think that's about it in terms of the squad report so not too bad overall seeing some decent improvement from the team and then let, let's let's be honest we we weren't really expecting a lot of the players to have gone up by now it is only october but it's it's not bad in retrospect i mean some of the players have increased already which is outstanding so anyway mansfield at home league two let's get the show on the road okay ladies and gentlemen kickoff has finally arrived and a lot of these players are in form at the moment and i'm very much looking forward to seeing how quickly we can dismantle mansfield town um uh, a little bit apprehensive, I've got to be honest, but I am quietly confident we can do some big, big damage to Mansfield today. If we get the early goal, well, it's going to be GG nice and early on. Lovely play. Artila's out wide. Look at the pace, bro. Just look at that pace. And he's there. How have you not scored? How have you not scored, Subasa? I'm expecting better things from you, son. On your head. Ooh, hit that. Oh, he's off the post. Finish. There we go. Oh. Wow, that was very, very lucky. I was actually thinking that was going in. But it's gone off the post. Just deflect back. All the way back to Omar Bogles. Hit the post there. Bogles charged in. Hit it. Keeper's made a very, very good dive. But unfortunately, he's just gone underneath his arm. As you guys will see here, it's hit the underside of his arm. It's really, really unlucky on his part. Oh dear. Oh dear. They're, we're being exploited here a little bit. Gotta be honest. Great challenge there from Dominic. Rate that highly. Get running, son. Get running, though. Get running. Get running. Get running. Get running. Get running. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's on his own. Out wide. Come on. Somebody be there, please. Somebody. He's there. On your Swede. 2 0. Omar Bogle does it again. Come here, Dominic. There we go. What a run from the right hand side. He's charged from his own half bombed past two players oh wow it's just lovely it's just it's just lovely 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 finish and he's done it again that man is once again in the headlights and the head and the headlines as well outstanding outstanding player i literally cannot say any more about omar bogle there we go nice play pass it across there lovely see that see that lovely play whip that in he's at the back post oh what a header christopher malonga oh my god dominic Vos is having a game of his life right now down that right hand side you cannot stop the man look at him go whips another delicious ball in and he ran in like ronaldo against roma or porto one of the two and it was the header of dreams runs in it's like a bullet absolute bullet what a header malonga is in form omar bogle is in form and doe is in form vose is in form everybody is playing unbelievably well at the moment like i genuinely cannot begin to just i cannot even begin to describe to you guys how amazing it feels to play with this team like this team is actually incredible to play with it is just disgusting behavior like how good they actually are i mean i did say at the beginning of the match we're going to dismantle absolutely dismantle mansfield and i don't doubt that for a second these last 10 minutes they really have put us under a lot of pressure and by a lot of pressure i mean a lot of pressure we've managed to soak it up pretty well we are three nil up but as so if they get a goal here, there are still 45 minutes to be played. So again, very nervous, and that's exactly what I mean. That is exactly what I mean. They can, if they got stole a the goal there. What? Um. 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 What the fuck are you doing? Oh, lovely play there. Lovely play, Shibasa. Shibasa's there. Cut back. Oh, lovely play. How have you not scored? How have you not scored, Jose? That should be a goal. Like, delicious, delicious pass on the back of the heel. And he still somehow has missed. If we'd have scored that, it was GG game over. But wow, Jose. I expect better from you, son. Ball out wide. Nice. Back in the middle again. Back to Brandon. Back to Chris. 
Out to Omar. No. That's a wrong ball there, but okay. Sabasa, go and get on. Nah, not quite, not quite. Good header. Lovely. Lovely ball there to Omar. Cut back out on the defender. He's round on the outside. Finish. Oh, lovely. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's Omar. It's a hat trick as normal. He's... Oh, bro, I can't even... I, I just can't even. I literally can't even. He's cut round the outside. He's, he's past all of them, but what a finish in that bottom corner. Right the way across the floor. Have some of that, son. Unbelievable, Jeff. Well, I tip, I tip my hat. I genuinely do. He's an unbelievable striker. Outstanding. If you haven't bought him in League 2 yet, why not? Why not? There we go. 4-1 win. Nice and easy for, for Grimsby in today's game. I was actually thinking it was going to be a little bit more difficult than that, but I was quite... I'm just playing with these players at the moment. I'm so happy with the, the chemistry of the team. I mean, even with Damao out injured for three months, I just... I feel so confident playing now. Now that Malonga... Three shots, three goals, 100% accuracy. Unbelievable, Jeff. Fair play, son. But, um... That's, that's just crazy. It's genuinely crazy how good this team actually is now. It's gelling. Now that Endo's playing in that center attacker midfield role, Artiles is playing well out on the wing. Vos is playing really, really well out on the right side. He's really stepped up over the last couple of matches. It's just been, it's been a breath of fresh air. It really, really has. Really, really has. But now that Endo's back, oh my God, I need to buy this guy. I need to buy him in January. Okay, everyone. We have a way... At Yeovil, next on the agenda. Now, if you look at the league table just at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, you will indeed see that Doncaster United, or Doncaster Rovers, sorry, <laughs> me being a moron, uh, Doncaster Rovers have indeed dropped now down to fourth place, and we are 10 points clear at the top of the table. We are yet to lose a game but we are yet to play Portsmouth. And I do not doubt for a second that Portsmouth are going to be the one team that's going to cause us issues. It's very strange to now think that Blackpool have dropped out of the top division and they're all the way down in League 2 now. That's such a sad sight to see. It really, really is. But I was so happy when Blackpool got up to that top division. They're playing really well. Everyone was excited to watch them play football. But unfortunately, it has gone very, very downhill. Now, the only team to take any points off us are Hartlepool United. And I've got to give them props, bro. I really do need to give them props. They have been very, very good team thus far this season. But we still haven't conceded any more than five goals. Every other team has conceded a minimum of eight. Cambridge United have conceded 24 already. That's horrendous. 25 for Colchester. I mean, we did batter Colchester to be fair did we batter Colchester was it Colchester we battered I don't know who it was we battered but we battered a lot of teams thus far Mansfield Town getting absolutely dismantled in the last game 4-1 incredible incredible stuff but Yeovil away is the next match on the agenda everybody's fit we've had a whole week off nice everybody's everybody's dead refreshed this is good this is very very good and it's very bad for Yeovil Town FC okay ladies and gentlemen we're kicking off Yeovil Town Away from home. Long, long travelling distance between the two clubs. Yeovil's an absolute mission away, even from where I live. Mission away, and Grimsby's like a five-hour drive from me. Yeovil's probably still another, I'd say, a three-hour drive from me. Like, that's like a solid eight-hour drive. That's crazy. But anyway, I'm just very much looking forward to absolutely dismantling them anyway. There's no point in us driving all of that way just to walk away with nothing, is it really? I mean, let's be honest. Go on, Chris. Go on, Chris. Hit that. What a finish. That is a vicious, vicious left foot. That is so unfriendly. Wow. Out of nowhere. He just, he was about to play in Subasa. I thought, no, nah, I'm going to go it alone. Have some of that. Oof. That is so unfriendly, Chris Malonga. I'm, I'm going to be honest right now, ladies and gentlemen. I am completely... I'm going to completely take back my original statement and get and say Chris Malonga was terrible. He's been unbelievable recently. Okay. So, in this second half, looks to us as if we're going to bring out the Shlongdong and start causing some issues for Yeovil Town because I don't want to just sit here on 1-0. 
I don't want to sit here on one nil. I want to sit here two, three nil, comfortable victory. We don't want to to risk losing points for absolutely no reason, do we? Let's be honest. We want to we want to win, and we want to win comfortably, so it's not a panic. But we don't want to win emphatically every game, because obviously that would be a little bit too easy and a bit boring. But we're playing very well right now, very very well. Davis has been. In my opinion, Davis is man of the match. Right now, he is man of the match. He is being unbelievable today. I won't even get him a goal. Oh, that's just... Well, been, uh, but then you trust Omar Bogle here. to make a pass. A Another delicious ball in. He's there, Kaspar. Not it's quite. Not quite. Another corner. There's so many corners going on right now. Nice little ball in. Good header. Head. Oh, wow. That's goal. an own goal. That's so unfortunate. So unfortunate. But boy, uh, has got himself a goal. Why is he captain? I don't it's know. It's but there you go. He's hit that and it's come off his knee, bless him. Oh, wow. I feel sorry for the lad there. Like, you're trying to do something to prevent the goal, but all you can do is just angle it in. Unfortunate for him, Kevin Dawson, but he got two goals in League 2. <laughs> oh, dear. Does that count as one of his goals? I don't know, but that's, that's a bit of a heartbreak for the lad. I do feel bad for him. Again, let's play some sensible football here. Shabazz with the ball. There he is. Lovely play. Omar plays it through. There he is out wide. Cut back. Cut back again. His agility is unreal. Oh, my God. That's so unlucky. So unlucky. His agility is unreal. Come on. Make that, make that challenge. Make that challenge. Somebody. There's two of you there, mate. Good. Good, 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 good. Wow, ref. If ever I've seen disgusting behavior... I, I don't know who's down injured. Please don't tell me that's Artiles. Please don't tell me that's Artiles because I don't really have a no, decent left winger. On your head. Out we go. Out we go. Out we go. No. No, 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 no. no. Okay, so just as a uh, precaution, we're going to take Brandon Comley off and we're going to take off Jose Artiles as well. Artiles was the one that went down injured. I don't want to risk him. I just want to bring him off, make sure he's nice and... Uh, well Let's just say yeah, protected well just for the next match. I don't want to start causing any ruckuses or arguments so well. in the comments section because I know some of you guys but like, why don't you take him off? Team. You saw he was injured, but uh, well, sometimes you just need to get him to run it off and play on. But A few moments later, Jose Artiles is out for two months with a broken toe. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 There's not the table, much I can really do about this. I might have been able in to get him to run it off. Falling, uh, but unfortunately, he is points. now out seventh, for two months with, 20 points. In eighth, with the Mao. They're both on points. the injury list. This Bottom is really, table, really Kelvin not Tan, good. He was, he has been sublime. Absolutely table, sublime for us. But it's really, really heartbreaking to see him go out injured as well. Gutted. Very, very gutted. Not a lot else we can do. But if you guys did enjoy today's episode, drop a like rating for me. It's um, very unfortunate the fact that, you know, we're going to have to end it on such a, a demoralizing note. But unfortunately, Jose is out for two months. Bit of a shame. But never mind. We'll, 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 we'll work around it. We'll find another plan. We'll find another plan of action. But we'll, um, we'll make changes accordingly. But thank you so much for watching. Drop a like rating if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll see you in the next episode. Adios. Have it.